how can I use the if function in Excel if three criteria? I'm gonna show you how to do that if a real example. Here I have uh, some data, if a bunch of competitors, I have many competitors here, and each competitor have three score, score one, two, and three. And from these scores, I have the average of each competitor. A competitor, if uh, average below 35, I need to write, okay? I need to type class A. A competitor, if uh, average between 35 to 50, is in the class B. And uh, there is eliminated too. So if the competitor has uh, average above 50, he is eliminated. Instead of uh, just write row by row, because man, look, it's gonna take a long time till the cows go wrong. So a more practical and let's say a more right way to do that is just to use the if function because the if function can help us to automate tasks. So let's say instead instead of uh, 57, the first competitor takes here. Let's say he is if 31. Okay, look, the if function is showing me the class A. Let's say now this 31 is. Uh, 47. The status is class B. And if the competitor is taking the note, let's say 99, is eliminated. So the if function is a really good function because it can help us to automate the tasks. Let me just click here step by step. So let's create the if function here following these rules. If the competitor is in the class A, it's because his average is below 35. If his average is between 35 to 50, he's in the class B and he's eliminated if his average is above 50. So let's create here equal. The first thing you need to, to press is equal, the sign equal. If, just type if, uh, just need to double click here. You guys are seeing that there is a function that look like the if function, but there is a S in the, the, the final. Huh? What is the difference between these two functions? The ifs, ifs, if the s letter in the, the final, you can use as many as criteria as you want, but it's not available in all Excel versions. So this is why I'm gonna use the traditional if function, because the if function is in all Excels, whatever the version, okay? So let me let me double click here, one, two, okay? So what is the logical test I need to do? So, if the average that is here, okay, is below 35, if the average that is here is below 35, if this logical test is true, then I'm gonna press semicolons. This is important, maybe in your Excel version or whatever, you don't need to use the semicolons, you just need to use a normal one, a normal column, okay? In my case, in my scenario here, I am using the semicolons. Why? Why am I using the semicolons? Because the function is telling me to use the semicolons. Look, if in your Excel, they are the, the Excel is telling you to use just the column, use the column. If he is telling you to use the semicolon, like in my scenario here, use the semicolon, okay? So semicolon, value if it is true. Okay, so if the condition we write here is true, then I'm gonna need to to type class A. So I'm gonna write this. Uh, just gonna open the quotes. Class A. Gonna close the quotes. Semicolon. And if this value is false. But look, I just have one option left here. But in this role here, if this first, uh, the first option, if this is not true, what can happen? Maybe the competitor is here in the class B, or maybe he is eliminated. So I have two more options to put in the if function. How? How can I put three options in the if function, class A, B, or eliminated, if the if function just let me to use two criteria? I'm gonna use the if again. Yes, I'm gonna use the if function inside the if function. I'm gonna double click it again. One, two, okay. What is the logical test I'm gonna use? So, if the average I have here is now uh, below 50, uh, or yes, yes, below or equal, below or equal 50, semicolons or column, okay. Let's type uh, class B, close quotes, open quotes, close quotes. 
semicolons or columns and finally I can just put the, the final result here that is eliminated so if the competitor is not in the class A if the competitor is not in the class B he only can be in eliminated so open quotes eliminated close quotes and then press enter okay so the first competitor is eliminated how can I do the if function if three criteria to all the rows I have here I just need to click here in the cell click hold and drag down okay so let me do that click hold and drag down okay now I have the if function now I have the automated task completed so if I change whatever average here I have I can make the status refresh itself automatically so let's say uh, this competitor here he take uh, two in all the scores uh, but he is already in the class A so let's say he is get 99 in all the scores I'm gonna press enter look he's eliminated so let's say he get uh, 40 in all these three scores let's press enter and he's in the class B so yeah it's working I hope this video can help you to use the if function if three or more criteria to automate tasks in your daily routine in your work and if you have any question just put your comment in the comment section below okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one